look at the wheel. He's got his face on it. Shh, it's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Now, Nasha! <laughs> that. We just have to make sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Right. Time to make that wax work work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. Hmm. Looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Oi! What are you doing? Mescrimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. <laughs> Careful now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, 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 my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> Sheet, lads. Uh, pie face. Disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pause now. No, I can't. Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you'd be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor, so none of us will be voting for you. Yes. Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. <laughs> Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's pan on skateboards. 
Oh, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse. Wiki Wiki, Assistant Junior Apprentice Parky Scream. Sorry, sir. <laughs> All our gear, gone. Scrim doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish uh, like you. What? You're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. It. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for anything gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Time for plan D and G. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> What happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> Come on, just find something else to use. Oh, still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. They did what? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da. <laughs> My favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did it. 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Go. <laughs> 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 Right, from now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. <coughs> Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realize these bans are causing a few problems. A few? With our paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Want to bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Let me go. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Oh. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Follow me. Stop it! You're causing chaos! No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of Baby Bee's used nappies. <laughs> <laughs> That does it! As of now, all forms of underwear are banned! What? Don't be ridiculous! We were better off with scrimp! Sergeant Slipper, do something! Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and scrimp gets his old job back. All in favor? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. I hereby ban all bans! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, including the one on skateboards. Hmm. Oh, all right. But don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head.
team when they say us, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. Same reason they write these complaints, Dennis. Your pranks. Today, Dennis, Mum and I expect, insist, demand, hope you do nothing for the rest of the day. If there are any more of your usual pranks, you'll have to do every one of these jobs around the house. Ah, got it. None of my usual pranks. All day. Hush. <laughs> About time you were restrained. No problem, Walter, cos I'm not going to do any of my usual pranks. Good. Peace and quiet at last. I'm going to do the ultimate prank. What? Ow! Get off. He's doing what? The ultimate prank? This is a disaster! Emergency meeting at the Colonel's house now! <laughs> It's me. Who's me? How should I know who you are? It, it's Sergeant Slipper. Open up in the name of the law. Uh, uh, uh. You have to do the secret knock. No. Oh. Wrong. No. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Are you some sort of imposter? But you didn't tell me the secret knock. Huh. Wouldn't be a secret if I told you. Uh, we'll be here forever waiting for them. Yes. Good thinking, Nasha. Let's do it. <laughs> Not even close. Ow, 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 ow. Spot on, Sergeant. I knew you'd get it in the end. Finally. <laughs> Nifty knocking, Nasha. And now we wait. <laughs> Quick game to pass the time. Nash! Nash! Concerned citizens, we are facing the most terrifying problem ever to face Beano down in the face. Oh. Dennis is planning the ultimate prank. <gasps> Indeed. But what will it be? We have to know. Maybe he's going to put hair dye in the shampoo. <laughs> la, 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 la. Already done it. <gasps> oh, maybe he's going to mix itching powder with the laundry. Oh, seems to be itching. Ah, 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 help somebody, please! Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, he's done that one too. Then what? What? For the love of Queen and Country, the ultimate prank! It's sure to be something absolutely horrifyingly terrible! Gentlemen and lady, the fate of Beano Town and possibly the world rests in our hands. We must keep him under surveil. Su uh, su surveil, su uh, surveil. We must keep a close eye on him. And I have just the chap for this kind of operation. Corporal Tinkle, Tate's hut. <laughs> Young Corporal Tinkle here just volunteered. Uh, oh. Well done, Tinkle. This could mean a promotion. Oh, about time, too. <laughs> now, let's see what enemy activity Tinkle has to report. Closely, Nasha. This is the ultimate prank. Mrs. Miggins, huh? vegetable garden first. What? What did he say? That's Mrs. Miggins' prize winning vegetable garden, number 42, opposite the bus stop. Oh, thank you. Then off to see Parky Bowls down in the park. Huh? After that, we'll visit those new exotic fish at the pond. Mmm. <laughs> Then fly by Grant's house five minutes later, and finally we'll end up at the corner of Biffo Street and Snooty Avenue. Nash, 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 nash. He's covering half of Beano Town. This is going to be the biggest prank ever. The horror. We must stop Dennis. Mrs. Creature, you take Mrs. Miggins' garden. Sergeant, you keep an eye on Parky Bowles. Colonel, you head over to Dennis's grand's house. Claudius and I will guard the fish pond. We'll meet at the final rendezvous later. Very well. Commencing Operation Secret Spy. No, 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 no. Too, too obvious. 
What about Operation Follow Dennis? Oh, no, I know, I know. Operation Foil the Fiend. No, no, I disagree. Oh, Colonel, you are wrong. It should just be called Secret Operation. He's getting away! Operation He's Getting Away? No, no, that's no good. Oh, for goodness sake. How about Operation Will Everyone Please Stop Talking and Catch Dennis? Yes, that'll do. Yeah, works for me. Catchy. Now, split up. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Mrs. Miggins' prize winning carrots are famous. Her potatoes are priceless and her turnips are terrific. I must save the vegetables. Dennis, stop! <laughs> <laughs> What have you done to Mrs. Miggins prize winning garden? Oh no. Hey, hey, no mischief you do. I'm pruning. He wouldn't. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Nasha. Of course he would. Move! Official police tree! Sorry. Sergeant Slipper, what are you doing? Undercover operations? Uh, special branch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Claudius, you after those new ever so expensive exotic fish? Oh, Parky Balls will go mad if you've scoffed one. <laughs> wow, you're much braver than me. I wouldn't go anywhere near those piranha fish. <laughs> piranha fish? <laughs> Luckily, they're rare, toothless piranha. They don't bite, but whoa, they have a mean sucking action. <coughs> hey, you, my rare, exotic, toothless piranha fish! Come here, you two! <coughs> <coughs> Enemy approaching! Take cover! Uh. <laughs> ah, nice pig! Good pig! Where's Dennis now? Yes, <laughs> Nash! Ah, uh, what are you two doing over there? Us two? Over here? Well, what we're not doing is standing in wet cement. <laughs> Today cannot get any worse. <laughs> Oi, what you lot done to my cement? I'll have you. Come here! <laughs> get back here! What have you done? I haven't done anything, Dad. But, but look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Mrs. Creature ruined Mrs. Miggin's garden. Sergeant Slipper damaged Parky Ball's hedge. You frightened the piranhas, Walter. And you jumped into Harvey's pen kernel. The ultimate prank was everyone else thinking I would do something. I didn't have to do anything. What? By Jove, the boy's a master strategist. Oh. Let me get this right, Dennis. You pranked everyone by not pranking them. Yep. Well, in that case, you are now banned from doing nothing. Never do nothing ever again. Yes! yes. yes. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> Door 
years, a world away from the hurly-burly of everyday life, I close my eyes. Ah. And when I open them... <laughs> ah! We're on. The Beano Town Cup Final. And we're almost front of the queue. <laughs> Operation Golden Ticket is on course for a successful completion. <laughs> Four tickets for the cup final, please. Oh, sorry. Just sold me last tickets. What? We we'll do anything. Uh, uh, cut your lawn, polish your boots, shine your medals. Anything for those tickets. Oh, tempt me all you like, Sonny Jim. The Colonel will never buckle. Oh. <laughs> if you're trying to buy tickets, Walter, they've sold out. Oh, I'm not buying a ticket, Dennis. As chief reporter for the school paper, I get a press pass. <gasps> so all we need is a press pass like Walter's and we're in. Oh, this is a menace made in heaven. Oh, no tickets left, love, sorry. The match is a complete sellout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one press pass, please. There you go, the final press pass. Yeah, <laughs> press pass, please. You? Which paper do you write for? The Daily Menace. I've never heard of it. That's because it's uh, new and exclusive and only online. Well, this is the final press pass and it's mine. <laughs> you can't both have the final press pass. You're right. The final press pass should go to a deserving home. Meaning? Meaning uh, whoever gets the most readers by Saturday gets the final press pass into the match. Challenge accepted. May the best reporter win, Dennis. Sounds fair enough to me. <laughs> Bertie, hold the presses. I have a new lead story for this afternoon's edition. <laughs> Dennis the Menace, biggest loser in Beano Town. <laughs> Meet me in the treehouse in exactly 33 minutes and 22 seconds. We've got a newspaper to launch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Nasha. Dad's bottom has been given its own TV show. Dennis, I'm in your bedroom. Ah. Say hello to the Homework Spy 3000. The Homework what? This little beauty will be keeping an eye on you at all times. Right, but... Ah, uh, no buts, Dennis. Take a seat. Six months' worth of homework to do, Dennis. And remember, if you're thinking of leaving your desk, the Homework Spy 3000 will be watching. <laughs> which means I'll be watching. Oh! We have to meet Curly and Pie Face in three minutes, Nasha. This calls for a top draw menace. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No more sneaking behind my back. <laughs> Pulling the wool over my eyes. It's all about using your head. Brilliant, Nasha. Time for some menacing genius. <laughs> Right, I reckon I've got 20 seconds. Let's get to work. Oh, no, it's on the blink. One state-of-the-art website coming up. Great. So, oh, oh, with a fixed position navigation interface. Uh, sure. Ah, and some showy CCS coding. Why not? Oh, I know. And an intricately designed content management system that automatically generates astute SEO URLs to provide accurate metadata within a fully functional customized database. I don't know. Um, Paul can help you out, Curly. He's got a knack for computers. <laughs> 
Okay. So now we've just got to post a story for people to read. But how will we know how many people are reading it? Well, when someone clicks on our website, it comes up as a hit on the screen. Exactly. And what do hits make? Press passes! <laughs> OK, let's make news. Right, Curly, bring in the bus. <sighs> Here goes. A world exclusive. <laughs> Double-decker bus found on moon! Our first big splash. How easy is this? Dennis! <gasps> oh, no. Mum! <laughs> A little something for you. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. Double dicker bus found on the moon? <laughs> I can do better than that. Read all about it. Double decker bus on the moon disappears. Mm, here you go. Here's a shilling. One more happy reader. <gasps> <gasps> oh. By Jove, he's right. There is no double decker bus on the moon. Wild animal in Beano Town Park. Wild animal captured. Treasure found in Beano Town. Free chocolate coin with school paper. Beano Town flooded. How I saved Beano Town from the floods. Read my amazing story. <laughs> Final reader figures are Walter's paper, four hundred and eighty five. But Daily Menace has 486 hits! Ha ha! And today's Saturday, so. No school paper! Ha ha! Nice, 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 nice! Walter just handed me this. It's a bit rubbish. <gasps> this puts the numbers exactly even. Walter gave me one specially for you, too. <sighs> See? <laughs> rubbish! <laughs> The press pass is mine, Dennis. <laughs> Soon I'll be shaking hands with Beano Town United's finest. So, Walter wants to shake hands, does he? Curly, I've just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> That's him! Get him! <laughs> Be the first to shake Walter's hand and win a year's free subscription. 500 extra hits. <laughs> 986 readers to Walter's 487. The press pass is ours. Congratulations. One press pass coming up. <laughs> That's my press pass. No, it's not. We want it fair and square. Oh. Actually, I think it belongs to me. Huh? Angel, Angel face. face? Whoever has the biggest readership gets the press pass, yes? Have you read my magazine? <laughs> Dennis versus Walter. Skullduggery. Treachery. Trickery. Oh, and 5,000 readers. 5,000? <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, what have you been up to, Dennis? Hmm. Still want to see the match, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Face, have I got a deal for you? Your press pass in exchange for the parents buy three thousand. Stay ahead, of prying mums and dads, with this state-of-the-art revolution. Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> Come on, United! <laughs> Fuss 
dinosaur was something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 nash. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nasha still hasn't had his B A T H. That spells bath, Nasha. Nash. Nasha could learn a thing or two from that cat. Cat hat reporting for bath night duty, sir. <laughs> Action in supplying vital equipment that deserves a medal, I think. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> uh, Walter, got a minute. Uh, uh, hang on, Nasha! Oh no! Stop hanging on, Nasha! <laughs> So he needs to be taught proper bath time behaviour. Can you help? I don't know if there's much even I can do for such a smelly, scruffy creature. <laughs> Actually, we'd be delighted to give Nasha grooming tips. Dad, you can't do this to my best mate. You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Bath all set up. Oh, I think not. <laughs> wow. Huh? <laughs> 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 Doesn't that look relaxing? Nash, 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 Nash! Please, Dad, I beg you to think of this dig's dignity. Uh, this dog's dignity. I beg you not to reduce him to a barking stock. I beg you to spare him his soapy ordeal. I beg you to stop playing that violin while I'm begging. Sorry, just practicing. Oh, for goodness sake, it's only a bit of soap and water. Nash! 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 Slithery, slimy soap, and do I hate baths? I hate soap and shampoo in my hair. Ugh, my poor, defenceless hair. I, it's so flat. <laughs> Being this clean's not natural. Soon fix that, though. <laughs> 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 Nash, nash, nash. <laughs> With the pitch squirt.
Welchy underfoot, we kick off with a magic muddy manoeuvre. Kicks on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasha. Crash. <laughs> Nasha? Yes, na Nash. Hmm, maybe you just need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? <laughs> well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells. Nice! He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. <laughs> it's like he's turning into a C-A-T. Yeah. A what? A cat pie face. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis! Your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. Huh? Or should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm. I've got an idea. Nash, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Nash. Nash. Reflexes are okay. <laughs> His eyes are okay. Energy levels are definitely okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Beano Town Flea Market, just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> flea Market just means jumble seal, Payface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> Flea Market. <laughs> nash, nash. A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We managed the whole market. Not quite. What? I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. <laughs> Walter's watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Menace. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. Mm. Oh, what's in the stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. So this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jelly nator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and outpranked. <laughs> Got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. Okay, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Good luck, Nasha. Nasha, Nash. Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. Okay. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, d I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? 
Gran? <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried, or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. Oh. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? Oh, I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Given up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, uh, 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 it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Team, so what are we gonna do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> Get it?
adventure playground. I mean, it's so immature. We're ten! Proms are for secondary school kids. We don't want a prom. Everyone wants a trip to the adventure playground. Yeah, they have balloons there. And ropes to swing on. They even have an ice rink now. We want a red Well, those are all very good points. But what you're forgetting is... <laughs> Toodles! My face, the emergency custard pie, if you would be so kind. Glad it wasn't me for once. on her before she crashes. Come on. noises, so she must be okay. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I won't get into trouble for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, maybe I will. But the skateboard was an accident. I don't care if it was an accident. Detention! Oh. Daddy? Oh, oh, yes, sweetie? Um, detention seems a bit harsh on poor Dennis. Oh, thanks, Angel Face. Maybe you could make it up to me by... Oh, I don't know. Helping me with the school prom. What? No! No, I'll take detention! Double detention! Triple detention! Wonderful idea, Angel Face. So, what does every superclassy school prom need? It's not filled water pistols? No, silly. Something ten times as exciting. Paper chains. Lots and lots of them. And there's the paper for you to make them with. Oh, and a few balloons need blowing up. Get to work on those. I have a massive cake that needs icing. <laughs> Toodles. Oh, oh Dennis. Having to work for Angel Face all day. Must be awful for him. The best school day ever! <laughs> what? No schoolwork! Just the whole day cutting stupid strips of paper and blowing up balloons. And it's going to keep being like this until the prom's over. This is going to be awesome! What are you lot talking about? The prom. Dennis reckons it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's a relief. If this prom goes well, we'll have one every end of term and not bother with the adventure playground ever again. <laughs> what? But but, 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 can't stay in chat. I have a feeling that if I don't get these papers into my car quickly, then something will happen to them. <laughs> oh, 
Dennis, you have to make sure that this prom doesn't work out. We might lose the adventure playground trips forever. Hmm. Don't worry, Curly. Tomorrow, there's going to be some gold standard menacing. All right, Dennis. Let's see what... Huh? Ah, Ta-da! Right, Dennis. Clearly, you're not taking this seriously. So, if the students don't have a great time at the prom, you'll get nothing but Brenda Sprout peanut butter and marzipan stew for lunch for the rest of the year. Keep watching, Dennis. I want that floor shinier than Mare Scrimp's wiggler's head. Hmm. Now, where, oh, where should I place this oh-so-wonderfully iced cake of mine? <laughs> I think the best place for it would be, uh, my mouth. Oh, please, it's not for you, Dennis. In fact, it's not for anyone. I spent far too long making it for anyone to eat it. Mm. Looks good there, doesn't it? Dennis, do you want Brenda's stew for a year? Ah! <laughs> This is broken. Nasha? Huh? Yes! Whoa! Ah! Oh, thanks, Nasha. Oh, I'm exhausted. Angel Face was working me like crazy. She's gone too far, Dennis. She can't get away with doing all this. We have to make this prom a disaster. No, no! If this prom isn't brilliant, I'm getting sprout, peanut butter and marzipan stew every day for a year. But if it is brilliant, no more trips to the adventure playground. Oh, what are we going to do? Mm. Ah. Right, we only have two hours before the prom starts. You need to get the balloons and paper chains up now. Mm. <laughs> 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 right, let's get them up. Quick! Thanks for the help, Dennis. <gasps> oh. You put the decorations up? Yep. Well, Dennis, I suppose a thank you is in order. Well, come on then, thank me. Hmm, all right. How about a pat on the back? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, by the way, I gave the floor a really good waxing. Oops! Suppose I better clean this up with water balloons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put your feet up. <laughs> Remember what I told you? I do. And I did exactly what you asked. I made the prom great. What? See? They've got balloons. They've got ropes to swing on. They even got an ice rink. They didn't want a prom. They wanted the adventure playground. And I've given it to them. Look at them! They're happy! You're right, Dennis. Next end of term, we're back at the adventure playground. Yes! <laughs> Dennis! Ah, in your face! Literally. <laughs> it's a grammatical joke. 